Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Actually, it's not morning. <laughs> it is afternoon here in Kentucky. How's everybody doing? Say hello. We're about to make breakfast burritos. We're having brunch, usually on Saturday afternoons. We have a late breakfast, so I guess that's brunch to some people. How's everybody? Say hello. My little videographer is behind the camera. Mackenzie, <laughs> say hello. Hi. <laughs> I am making breakfast burritos, y'all, out of sausage. My hubby loves them. We like them. So I got my... This is uh, about a half a roll of breakfast sausage here. And this is um, just regular mild breakfast sausage. And I got the temperature, uh, I just now turned the skillet on, so it's, I had to thaw it out. It was a little frozen. And hubby thawed it out for me a little bit, so we gotta get it going here. So let me tell y'all how we like to do our breakfast burritos. So, like I said, that's about a half a row of breakfast sausage and you're gonna need some shredded cheese we shred our own roger just uh shredded this for me uh this is kobe is this kobe jack kobe and cheddar. this is kobe and cheddar mixed but you can use whatever cheese you like pepper jack we love good. pepper jack but we don't have any but pepper jack is good any kind of cheese you want and because we don't have pepper jack and we like things a little spicy I am going to be adding some uh, red pepper flakes here in just a second. And then just eggs. You're going to add some eggs in here. You're going to put some eggs. I want to crack some here in a minute. If um, I like salsa in mine, I like to add a little salsa on top. Um, Roger doesn't, but I do. But you can use... Um, you can use a hot sausage if you want. And you need some tortillas. These are, I buy the low carb, but you can buy whatever kind you want. Um, and these are only four net carbs per tortilla. And um, to me, is that, are they, is that, am I saying it right? A yeah. Tortilla? Okay. Kenzie usually likes that because I pronounce this stuff wrong. <laughs> but honestly, y'all, I cannot... I can't tell these are low carb. Can you, Kenzie? No, you? I like them. And Kenzie's big on Mexican food. She loves any kind of Mexican food. And these are really good. I buy these with all these. Um, these are, you can take these and slice them in like little triangles. You can fry them in a skillet and a little bit of oil and make your own tortilla chips out of them. And, but that's how we do it. These are simple. Y'all know me, I like simple, but I also like it to be good. And you just want to brown up your sausage. Tell me where y'all from, where you watching from, say hello. Happy Alaska, Georgia, Texas, Missouri. Happy New Year, y'all. We're finishing taking down our Christmas decorations today, getting it all packed away. It's so fun putting it up, but it's a drag taking it down. I like taking it down. Yeah. To get the house back. Yeah. To get normal. back to a little normalcy. Now, I, this... Hawaii. Howdy from Hawaii. Tennessee. Yeah, say hello when y'all jump on. Y'all love my new skillet. Now, I'm still going to be using my cast iron. I love my cast iron skillet. But I'll, I've been wanting a good non-stick skillet for a long time. And the only thing i got to remember, it's just a habit for me to, like, grab my, you know, my spatulas that I normally use. 
and I can't use metal on this. <laughs> Pat says uh, Lincoln said hi. <laughs> hey, Lincoln! Lincoln is my great nephew, you all. Lincoln calls me Aunt Bick. Now, let me tell you a little story behind that. My nickname through the years was Mick. My papa started calling me Mick when I was little. Now, I'm Missy. So, my cousins, even Roger, to this day now, he'll call me Mick sometimes. And my nephew, Lincoln's daddy, called me Mick. And so, we, we've tried to get Lincoln to call me Mick. Well, he couldn't say Mick, bless his little heart, which is all right. <laughs> so, he started calling me Bick. <laughs> it's stuck. Yeah, and it's stuck. Okay. So, he called me Bit. Yeah, we all call him. Yeah, everybody. Bit. Yeah. And I'm going to turn the heat down because you're going to add your eggs in. And you don't want it really hot. So, now this sausage, we, we, um, thawed it out a little in the microwave. So, a lot of the grease I already drained off. And so, there's not a big lot of grease in there. And y'all, I do this. I'm just one of them people that I ain't, I'll stick a paper towel in a skillet and sop up the grease. <laughs> yeah, sop up the grease. Y'all heard the word sop. She said he's listening. Hey, Lincoln. <laughs> ain't Vic loves you. Here's Juju. He calls my husband Juju, and that's another story, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that we don't know the answer. Oh gosh, we don't know how he got him called Juju, but so yeah. Now let me just set this aside just a little so the skillet to cool off, and let's scramble up the eggs. I love breakfast burritos. Um, I used to get the ones. Now I'm not a big McDonald's fan. I don't like McDonald's much at all, but I used to like the breakfast burritos, um, and. But they're not, they're not good for you. But these are good. My husband loves them. So what I do, I want to do about four eggs. Because this is, he's going to eat two and I'm going to eat one. Everyone's saying they do the paper towel. Two, yeah, yeah, paper towel trick. <laughs> yeah. Why not? I mean, goodness gracious. Now I'll throw them away. I don't like to leave my shadow. Y'all like my pretty brown eggs? Oh, I about forgot. Oh, hold on just a minute. Mm. It smells good. Sausage smells good. Sausage always smells good. Now I like to put a little, this is half and half in my eggs. <laughs> she said he's hollering for Bic. Oh, Lincoln! All right, I'm gonna put a little pepper in them eggs. And a I like to, salt. I like to bust the yolks. <laughs> doing it. Yeah, we get our eggs from one of Dad's friends. Yeah. Brown eggs works, are the best. Yeah. A fella that works with Roger has chickens. And he he gets us these eggs. We have to use a store bought egg and Yeah, them. yeah. And they do make a difference. My my bowl's a little full. But so you just wanna you just wanna scramble these up like you just normal eggs. All right. See a little more grease. <laughs> now a little of the oil in there, I mean that's where your flavor's at, but you know. Nobody needs all that grease, so. Mommy always did this. I remember mom <laughs> always using paper towels to get grease up, so. Yeah, onions and peppers would be good in this. Yeah. And tomatoes. Mommy don't like, yeah. That's why, I mean, he, he don't like them. He don't like it with onions and peppers. But yeah, Lord yes. I can tolerate the onions. He's not big on, he just don't. It would be really good with onions, peppers, with your mushrooms tomatoes. in there, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. 
And I got my skillet turned way down. You don't want your you want your eggs done, but you don't want them uh, overcooked. Someone wants to know how much milk do you put in your scrambled eggs usually? I don't know. I just I just throw a little a in splash. There. Yeah, y'all know I don't really measure. I just do it. It really don't really matter how much you put. I mean, Someone don't put a bug suggested people. banana peppers. Oh yeah, banana that would be, be good. really good. Mm, yeah. Now, y'all remember me telling you eggs keep on cooking. So I'm turning my skillet off and turn it off because these eggs are just about cooked. And they're gonna keep on cooking. You use yeah. hatch green chili peppers, don't you? I have. Someone's saying, you know, they're from Arizona. She said they had a lot of Hatch spicy. Green, yeah. Well, they have probably some of that Southwest. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn them over here. Just let them. Now, they'll keep on cooking a little bit. We don't like runny eggs, but I don't like them overdone either. Not for this. I'll show y'all. Now, I got three tortillas in the microwave. I'm going to put them on about um, just a few seconds and let them kind of warm up. Now, I like these. Oh, I forgot Daddy's red pepper flakes. I like the red pepper flakes, too. This is about a, probably a half a teaspoon. Stir that around. Make it good. Yeah, I like to top these with... Um, Salsa, I actually like to put, I like to put my tortilla in a skillet and brown it and then put my filling on it and then fold my tortilla over, my tortilla over and let it get uh, brown. You put your cheese on there. Daddy bird, get in here. No, you need to come right now. You gotta eat. <laughs> I got a mess, yeah. And then you wrap it. And these are soft. These are like so soft. What I do is just turn them over like <laughs> that. We love, um, Kendi loves the salsa from Aldi's. Oh my goodness, it's so yeah. good. I like to put salsa in mine. Alright, I'm on the way. Needs hot sauce, someone said. Oh yeah, oh he'll put hot sauce on it. Yeah. Thank you, Vic. <laughs> oh, you're not going to taste test? Yeah, he's going to taste test. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you. Yeah. I'm worse. I dumped it. You're going to eat it? You know, I dumped part of it out. What a blooper. <laughs> it's good. What a blooper. Very good. The tortillas are from Aldi. Mm hmm. A little, someone was asking where I found them. Mm -hmm. Mom found them. Yeah, come up, bring them over here. I want to show you how I do them. Okay. Now I want to show y'all how I make mine. So I'm going to put this over here to the side, and I got my skillet out. And this is how I like it. <laughs> Lincoln says, hi, Juju. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lincoln. Hey, so this is how I like to do mine. I'm going to show y'all a different way. Because I do like salsa on mine. Let my skillet heat up. Someone said that Aldi buys from local farmers. I did uh, not know yeah, that. I heard that. That's awesome. I heard that too. They want to see the salsa we're talking about. Oh, you got yeah. it. I want to bring it out because I'm going to show you guys. See that? That's from Aldi. And it's, it's medium. So... 
I want to show y'all. It's in the back, right beside like the yeah, fresh, like uh, the, the fresh veggies and yeah. stuff. Now this is just a little bit of bacon grease, and it's just a tad, just to give it some flavor. And I'm just, I mean, when I say a tad, that's just a little. And this is just a little bit of olive oil. But this, to me, is the best way to eat them. Because I like a grilled, browned, Kendi does too, those browned, um, so I just put my, put my tortilla. Someone wants to know, it. what size is your biggest cast iron skillet? 12 inch? No. That big one or 10? That big one. 12 or 14, it's real big. Yeah, I believe it's a 12 because that's the one I made. I made something in it uh, one time for everybody. And it's yeah, the salsa does come in mild. They have mild, yeah. medium, and spicy. So what I do, I just uh, <clears throat> put my filling in over here on the side. It's starting to burn. I on a bigger test time, but I ain't bothered Yeah. And my cheese. Now I put my salsa on top, so I'm not gonna put any salsa in, salsa in this. So I'm gonna let that sizzle just a little. What do you call this, Ken? Is it something like a quesadilla, I guess? Oh, yeah, pretty much. I don't know all the terms. A breakfast quesadilla, I guess. <laughs> I don't know all the terms, but this is how I love mine. Someone says you should do a video about all things cast iron. I could. <clears throat> and we cook in our cast iron a lot. It's just, I love cast iron. This skillet right here, I've had, uh, this is a 10 inch. So this skillet, oh gosh, I don't know how long. I, you, they give it to when we got married. This was Mamaw's. It was Mamaw Ellie's, yeah. yeah. this was Mamaw's. Okay. And then I got a little small one that also was my Mamaw's that I use as well. And these things, you know, I mean, y'all know they hold the heat. But there's more things we want to get cast iron. Yeah, I got he's, my eye on a big one. Yeah, he's got a griddle that we like. Um, now I'm going to flip this. See, that's what I like. Mm. I'm going to turn it off because... It's going to continue to. Uh, and so people have some questions about the cutting boards. If he's going to be selling those. Yeah, he's working on maybe getting some orders for cutting boards. There's a lady at church we know that wants one. Uh, he's working on it, y'all. He makes some pretty cutting boards. And when when he gets them made and start selling them, well, I'll let y'all know because. I love this. Look at it. Let's show you everybody how he's done it. It's got sour cream and sauce on it. Yeah. But. See, it's a... Now, it's heavy. It's nice. I ain't wiped it off this morning, but... And he seals them. You can just wipe them off. You don't have to worry about... Uh, Anything getting in there. Yeah. See, now that... That's the way. Put this off to the side because that's gonna get hot. Mmm, mmm, mm, mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, people. Now this is how Missy eats hers. <laughs> yeah, eight big eats hers like this. Now I, I like to get my salsa out with a fork because I don't like it watery. But this salsa is not that watery. It is seriously. The best salsa it. ever. And I can, it's so good. And it don't take a lot. And I'm going to spread it out because I want it to kind of heat up a little. <clears throat> Let me get my sour cream ready. Y'all, we love sour cream. Sour Everyone's cream saying they, like, everyone is saying they want to be on the list for the cutting board. For the cutting board? Yeah. Well, when we get them, he's actually going to be looking today. He's got to buy some more wood. 
and um, and he he's going to make he made cutting boards for uh, his sisters in law and his niece mm -hmm. for Christmas. So this is some sour cream, y'all. I'm not gonna put a lot because I just don't want a big lot this morning or this afternoon. But I love sour cream. And you can do avocado. I love avocados. So here we go. Now that's how I like to eat them. You hear that crunch? Mine's defective. Yours defect. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> Roger's already ate all his, y'all. Oh, look at there. Mm. You want a bite, Dad? Sure you don't want a bite? No, I don't want no salsa, thank you. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, y'all. Hers is definitely a lot prettier than Dad's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a plain old fella. That's good, y'all. I'm telling you. Now, I'm what I'm cooking here, if you, whether you're trying to do low carb or not, this is just good. And it's not, I mean, you can do, you don't have to do these low carb. But this is just delicious. You would never know that that's considered a low carb meal. And I'm not saying it is low carb or ain't. This is just how we like to eat. <laughs> Dad in the background. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. But I will say, y'all, that is very good salsa. I want a bite. You want a bite? Yes. All right. I already ate, but we'll let Kenzie. Don't Kenzie get wants me. To take a bite. I'm sweaty. I'm oh, gross. Kenzie worked out. <laughs> I just got home. Well, she just got home. She's been so. Kenzie gonna take a bite. I'm gross. I don't even like stuff like this, but it looks good. You like the salsa. It's a hot. Is it hot? Mmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so hot. <laughs> it's not that hot. Where'd you get a hot middle part? Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's good. It's very good. Now, Kenzie likes... Now, if you wanted to do this vegetarian, you could leave... I, me I and Kenzie... without the sausage. Kenzie don't like the sausage much, but now I... I didn't put a lot of sausage, if you see, but I don't, I mean, I love the sausage, this kind of sausage I do, but I just love, I mean, I like to try different things. I like to try, mmm, it's good. It's very good. I like to try different ways of eating, so it's really good. Mmm, it's good. Oklahoma. Hey, Oklahoma. Hey, did they get an ice storm in Oklahoma? Yeah, I did get that from Aldi's, y'all. So, yeah, my salsa came from Aldi's. This is the kind that we get all the time. Let me flip this around. So. It doesn't really even have a brand. Like, I think it's just Aldi. Look at that. It just looks like something oh, you just whip so up homemade. Good. Let's see what it says. What's it say, Kenzie? Kenzie, read better than me. Um, Park Street Deli. Park I Street Deli. Oh. Never can medium fresh cut salsa. Yep. That's good, y'all. It's really good. And it's in the refrigerated section, usually in the back. It's but got that's no preservatives. And yeah, Kenzie that. gets it. Kenzie eats it within a couple of days. <laughs> it's so but it's good. good. I love it on the recipes. I love it on this. You're making me hungry. Yeah, this is good, y'all. And I got my tortillas there, too. And honestly, you would never know that they're low-carb. I'm going to show y'all. These come from Aldi. Uh, they're only four net carbs. And you don't taste the difference. And look, they're only 80 calories. So that's a good thing. You can fry these. You can do what I just did brown them they're really good but this is so good yum 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 i'm gonna keep eating so y'all also you can leave sausage out yeah some people don't like sausage either 
So I did put up a post a couple days ago. Uh, Mom's going to be doing some cooking with us too. We're trying to think up some ideas. There's some things she's wanting to do. I think she's wanting to fry some salt bacon. Uh, we want to do some... Roger loves si I love rice. salt bacon. Um, we want to do some... Uh, maybe some cook neck bones with taters the old-fashioned way. Um, I love them. I love them. I remember I always told my mamma, Mamma, make me some meat and taters. That's what I called them when I was little. I didn't know what they was. But so, yeah, mom's going to be doing some recipes uh, more live with us. And she's, we've been, uh, we went over, uh, I went over there, what is today? Saturday, Thursday. And we uh, strategized a little bit what we can do. So she's excited. She's excited to do it. Mom loves to do it. She likes to cook with you guys. So be looking for that. I'll I will let y'all know that way if you want to uh, watch. That way you'll be um, looking for that. But I appreciate all you guys. Um, now there's there's no recipe to this. This is just if you just watch. Uh, if you watch from the beginning, you'll be able to see what I put in it and how much I put in it. I used a half a roll of sausage, um, breakfast sausage, and I used four eggs. And you can put this in the refrigerator, which I have some left. Just put it in a container and you can make you another one. You can reheat it and you can, um, and this made a lot, but I like to put, I like to make a little extra and we always put it in the refrigerator or you can even freeze this stuff. Uh, Roger likes to just take stuff where he can take it to work, throw it in the microwave and heat it up and fix him something at work. So Usually that's how I, when we make anything, that's what we do. Uh, we freeze it. He's got a vacuum sealer, so we usually vacuum seal everything. So make sure, I don't have my glasses on. Love neck bones and ribs. Yeah, yeah. So be on the lookout for that, y'all. We're going to, I'm still going to be bringing some mountain cooking, some good old Appalachian stuff, um, food that um, everybody likes. But I like to do a variety and I cook different things. So uh, as much as the mountain cooking I love to do, I also like to just try different foods. Um, it's just, we love, we love Chinese food. We love, we just love to eat. yeah, we just like to eat. So yeah, I'm from Kentucky. Neck bones, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, neck bones, good old neck bones. Well, we're, when I grew up, we had, you know, we killed hogs, so uh, you had neck bones or ribs, and you cooked them. And you cooked them, Mama would cook them for several hours, and then she'd throw taters in there and let them cook. And and then she let them cook down. It was just something about it. It was so good. Let's see where you are. Glad to see you. Yeah. So I hope y'all try these breakfast burritos. They're really not hard. If you just go back and watch the replay, you'll see how I did them. There's not a... Mmm. A little bit. There's not an exact, not an exact written recipe, but it's really not that hard. Or you don't even have to make as much as I did. Just use maybe about that much of a roll of sausage, one egg, and just try that. But just it doesn't really, like I say a lot, it doesn't always matter the amounts of things you always put in things as long as you got the right combination it still turns out really good and that's how you just learn to cook you just learn to cook sometimes you don't always have a written recipe but that's okay that's okay it still turns out good and everybody still likes it and everybody think you fussed over it and nobody know that's what i always say nobody know all right all right, guys, I will get off here. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a happy new year. Hope it's a blessed new year. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Uh, 2020 uh, was rough for a lot of people. and But, you know, 2021 don't have to be that way. But no matter what, just know that God takes care of us. And God's eyes are on the righteous, and he takes care of us. And I'm just looking and trusting in the Lord, no matter what comes, that he'll take care of us. And um, and um, so know that uh, I'm looking forward uh, to getting more followers this year. Um, Y'all, um, getting this page has been 
kind of just something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I've always wanted to have a cooking page. And back in September when I started this page, I was still a little nervous. And um, now there's like 26,000 followers. And I am so grateful for that. So I'm just looking forward to this year uh, for Mountain Cooking with Missy, what God will do, how he'll open doors. I do want to do a cookbook. I've never done a cookbook. Uh, I get, I'm get i having a lot of requests, so I am seeing into that. There's some things I'm looking into. Um, I'm trying to get YouTube going, my YouTube um, followers going. So if you... Um, if you are on YouTube or you do YouTube, I am on YouTube, Mountain Cooking with uh, Missy. Uh, so go follow that. Make sure you're also liking my page here, not just following. That also helps like other people see. Um, I don't know how it works, but just Facebook's got them little ways that it just, I don't know. But make sure you're liking the page too. I appreciate y'all when you share stuff. I appreciate it. I'm getting followers every day. I do have a mountain, Missy's Mountain Cooking Friends group that's tied in with this page. Uh, send a request on in that and I will add you. Now the group, in that group, if you cook anything, share recipes in there, you all. That group is for everybody. Share things, share recipes. Um, it's for us and it's for our group. Uh, there are some rules, but I don't think, you know, everybody should be able to follow by the rules. But yeah, in that group, just, uh, you can share recipes. If you make any of the recipes, share tips. And um, so I am looking forward to 2021, just branching out more with my page, with you guys and um, what the Lord will do. I don't know. I don't know what the Lord would do. I'm just following in his lead and in my ministry too. Um, there are just a lot of things that I'm believing the Lord for this year. And um but I do appreciate you all. You all learned to make good old-fashioned beef noodles. I've never made beef noodles. I really haven't. I've made Salisbury steak with noodles, but I ain't never. Now he loves it. Roger's like, oh yeah, but I ain't never made beef noodles. So there are some things I haven't made. But um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to 2021. So there's just some things we got hoping and praying about that the Lord would just open the doors this year. And I appreciate all you guys and. Um, and thank you all. Y'all awesome. Hey, Missy. So, guys, I'm going to get off here. So, if you make these, let me know. Just go back and watch the replay. They're really, really simple. You can add in what you want. You can, there's so many. I always say, the possibilities are endless, y'all. So, but you don't have to, you just throw in things. You can make it your own. You can make a beef noodle. Yeah, beef noodles. I've heard of them, but I haven't personally ever made them. But I'll look it up. So there are some things I will be, some new things I want to do too. So beef tips with noodles. Yeah. I've eaten them like in restaurants, but, and I think a few ladies in our church have brought them to like dinners, but I've never really made them. So, but I would love to, I'll try, I like to try new stuff. So, all right, guys, so I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a great day. Happy New Year, y'all. I will see you. I won't be doing anything. I probably won't be uploading nothing tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm always busy with church. But be on the lookout for a live from mom probably someday, uh, one day next week. I'll let y'all know. And um, we're going to be excited to come live with mommy again. That would be awesome. It's kind of like stroganoff. I've heard of stroke. Kendy like stroganoff. Have you eaten stroganoff before? I thought you liked stroganoff. She's like, no, I don't like stroganoff. <laughs> I do like Salisbury steak. Now, yeah, Salisbury steak I've made. Roger loves Salisbury steak. So that'd be something I'll try to make for y'all too. All right, guys. So you all have a great day. I will talk to y'all later. Have a happy new year, y'all. Be blessed, okay?